down in Arizona. We're riding every day, roping every day, and just staying focused and not living large by any means. I got a $3, $300 camper I'm living in with, and I'm sharing it with my dog, Cactus Jack. I don't know where he went, but it's awesome. It's okay. It's not awesome. One of these days, we'll, we'll have a pretty nice setup. I'll show you the, I gotta show you the stables. There are some pretty luxurious horse trailers and horse hauler setup. There's a bunch of bunch of good old cowboys and cowgirls at the stables. Uh, learning quite a bit. But like I said, I learned a lot, most of what I know from Sharon Fouts. And, uh, and also the person who taught me how to break a horse, which really came in handy with Slick, was Ron Whitmire. Rest in peace. Ron Whitmire is a good old cowboy from... Uh, the Goldendale Glenwood area. I rodeoed all the way up into high school and got involved with my other sports. Went off to college and uh, I always knew I could get back involved with rodeo. It wasn't fair to my parents to haul me around and and put up all that sort of cash if I was going to be involved with all these other different sports at the time. Because when I was becoming a champion in my own league, it was because I was dedicating all that time and energy into my horse, but when I got into high school, I had to, I had to, you know, sports in high school, that pretty much consumes your life. I went off to Spokane Falls Community College, I got my two-year degree there, and then transferred to WSU where I got my bachelor's in history. What got me through college was one idea. I really wanted to become an NFL scout. I, I worked my butt off to become an NFL scout. I, the idea came to me while I was at Spokane Falls and when I went to WSU I only had this one idea I'm gonna become an NFL scout for the Seattle Seahawks I had read an article about Tim Ruskell and how he was a scout and became GM of the Seahawks right after and this was right when the Seahawks won their championship so it was pretty inspirational to me and so I went there with all expectations of becoming a professional scout and it was great. I worked for the WSU football team for four years. I was the head assistant video manager. And I got to meet a whole bunch of NFL scouts and deal with the WSU coaches there at the time every day, which was great. It was a great experience. I was a sports management club president while I was there as well. I really was working hard to become an NFL scout. I thought everything I could do, just every contact I could meet, just network, network, network. And it worked. I got a, I got a interview with the Seattle Seahawks, and I, with the vice president, no least. And it came down to me and two other guys. I remember that day, got up, I worked out, I got a jog in, like I went in there fresh and just didn't work out. That's how life goes. So I went back, finished my last semester of school and didn't have any money. So I moved home with my parents. Didn't have a job and so my dad helped me get a job down at the landfill. He's a operations manager for a trucking company that runs up to the landfill. And so I got a job as a paper picker picking up trash that blows out of the landfill. And I don't know if you know, well, you don't probably know, but at that landfill, one of the windiest parts in the world, the Columbia River Gorge, at least 300 days out of the year it's going to be windy. I was working and living at home and 
there wasn't, there's nothing to do in Goldendale. So I started riding my horse and started cleaning up my old tack with my old saddles that I had won and I started reminiscing and riding and the thing about hor horseback riding is there's something new to learn every day. You get on and you're going to learn something. It forces you to learn and it makes you a better person each day. Every time you ride it makes you a better person and I I had forgot that feeling and I it just it was in me still. I wanted to ride. I knew I had a dream. I wanted to become a champion from a long time back. I've been riding and being I was a horse I've been a horse person my whole life. comes in and they're going to wipe them out. And rather than these Indians, these male Indians giving up, they rode over this cliff to kill themselves. When the, when the maidens came to collect their bodies, they cried these black tears. And that's what you see all over the ground. And that's where the black tears are. Not the mind of people.
I drive big cars, everybody know me. It's like I'm a movie star, but late at night, something ain't right. I feel I'm being tailed by the same sucker's headlights. Like, Even that move that I ran off the... Andrew, 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 Andrew,